Hey folks, today we're going to be revisiting an old friend, the Buzz Pro. So not a whole lot of people have probably heard about the Buzz Pro. The Buzz Pro, in my opinion, does not get the respect that it deserves. And the whole reason why the Buzz Pro doesn't get the respect that I think it deserves is because of the battery capacity. Okay, you have to stack batteries. People just go apeshit over stacking batteries. Okay, this thing doesn't, I mean, it does have a protection circuit in it. It will not fire if the resistance is too low. You've got a little light inside there. It's red when it's on and it's blue when it's firing. And the on and off switch is just this simple. Just give that a little twist. You'll see the light turns off. Twist it back on and you'll see the light turns back on. Okay. With that being said, there's a lot of times I forget it. And this thing does seem to drain batteries as it's on. So you don't want to really leave this thing on overnight. Otherwise your batteries will be dead really quick when you by the time you go to reuse it the next day. Okay. These things have removable top caps and you can get different caps okay so here's how you remove the caps from the Buzz Pro so that you can put on different ones you'll have to remove this screw right here okay it's got a little eyelet connector <coughs> and what what has to happen is is you have to loosen the top screw which is your positive pin you have to loosen that so that this will stay free turning as you tighten up the cap. It's really simple to do. So you get this in there to where it's straight. Okay, I have to get a better look. Start tightening the cap down until you feel some resistance. Loosen the screw up a little bit more and then tighten it down the rest of the way. Okay, then come back in here with your screwdriver and make sure everything's cranked down. There you go, it's just that simple. Okay, so you can have 901, 801, whatever those connectors are, 808s. Okay, they sell three different size, I believe, maybe four. But um, the body on the Buzz Pro is actually aluminum so it's nice and light let's go ahead and throw it on the scale and I'll let you guys know what it weighs this thing weighs 96 grams with batteries in it three and three eighths of an ounce okay so it's a nice nice and comfortable and it, I mean it's just a joy to vape I really love the Buzz Pros the Buzz Pro is using the same electronics as the Rio Grande VV uses okay this is an over two hundred dollar mod here this is a little bit over a hundred if you buy it brand new but because they aren't as appreciated as they probably should be they actually sell for a lot less I'm gonna show you guys something I got this tank which is the same color matches the Buzz Pro this is a XL Cardo tank and then I've got two more tubes. I got a smaller one and another XL without the hole in the side. This is just an awesome way to fill your cardo tank. To unscrew this, pop the needle point in there, fill her up, fill it up to the brim so there is no air in there and at all. It would just be completely full of juice. And that's why I really like this. It fills a lot of juice in there. It matches the Buzz Pro really nicely. But I got that full tank and two extra tanks. I got four AW batteries and the Buzz Pro for $40 shipped in the ECF classifieds. Now I want to tell you something just to compare this to something. Put it into perspective. This is actually more output than the newest Provary on the market. I got it for 40 bucks with extras to boot. Okay. So let's talk about why this thing's unappreciated. This thing is unappreciated because of that nasty connector on the top, okay? You can put stuff on here that kind of covers that, but you'll never get it fully covered. 
Can you just imagine an 808 Fusion Cardo on the top of this? You'd have to have a Stealth Adapter, which I do. And I have some Cardos, but I'm not getting them out. It would stick up probably even further, you know. <clears throat> the other thing that makes this this mod even more unappreciated is the fact that the batteries are dinky and you have to stack them okay these little aw batteries will last i can go through if i'm using the buzz all day long i can go through four charges of batteries okay this is 750 maws so rough estimate it probably would be about 1400 maws you know i mean it's not going to be a full 750 it's going to be 1400 maws and that doesn't last very long at all but when you're rocking something on here with a lower resistance something that you got the power cranked up on it it runs right through those batteries and a lot of times it'll start to flash blue and red because it just can't keep up it can't it can't throw the power out for very long you know the batteries are running down a little bit lower so you gotta turn the wheel the wheel has the uh, green a yellow and a red mark and that's it it doesn't tell you where it's at and that's actually better than the Rio Grande Vivi because the Rio Grande Vivi just has a wheel with nothing you know there is no markings to get an idea of where you're at if you want an idea of where you're at you just go all the way down to the bottom of the voltage curve and then turn it up until you like it that's how that works that's how this works <coughs> but this is a powerhouse if you see one that's cheap like this get it if it's a root beer one let me know I, I want I've always wanted a root beer buds pro but those ones seem to be liked a little bit more I've had the chameleon you've seen it on my YouTube videos and now I have the green one I just couldn't pass up on that great deal so here is the old the good old buzz pro and I, I really do like this there is a negative that I forgot to mention and then I'll close this up this these threads right here this is aluminum and this is plastic this is metal right here and this is what makes the buzz pro turn on is when you screw this all the way down and that metal touches the bottom of the tube okay but these threads will get chewed up and you will have to replace them they don't fit very good see that this is off just a little bit so basically what I do is just push on it as I'm twisting it in and lock it up snugly and it's on and it's good to go so that is also another negative about the Buzz Pro you know it's it's just that you know if if those three things really bother you that much then go ahead and get a Proveri, but you will not get the same kind of output that you're going to get with this at such a cheaper price. It just seems like a win-win, even though the battery life isn't all that great. You got this chintzy thing sticking out there, <clears throat> and you've got a plastic battery cap, okay? And it's, it's just things that you, you decide if you can live with or if you can't, okay? I'm going to use just a couple more seconds of your time and just show you what this thing looks like with a cardo tank on it okay I mean it has its merits it doesn't seem straight but I mean it's 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 good for what it is you know 40 bucks older cardo but that's some good taste and juice that's some of uh, Vapor Tech's Bazooka Bubblegum. Thanks for watching.